happened before. So I'm going to go right. in. I'm going to rock this shit so hard. I'm going to be Agent Zabisco. I, I found jokes where there were none. That yes. was like, it's like an expedition, I, an excavation. I got to find jokes that are surprising. And I also got to be, you, I had to be a heavy. Like you had to fight a you little bit. You did create a, so the thing that Barry always I talks about when he's on your show. I created a complete guy. But I was that was say, undeniable. You, you, the whole idea Except of for the letter of the law in a contract. Well, when he Anthony, has some of that coffee, it's going to be Anthony's cold. really good. I mean, he is, I got to just say, that guy is a fucking incredible actor, At no, I, think. I have to really interrupt you. At no point of this conversation am I saying, I can't believe you went with Anthony Mackie instead of me. I was well aware of going in that I was way out. But I would say this. Yes. The whole idea of you creating a problem is what you did do in that room when you left, everybody said, wow, that guy fucking nailed it. He could totally do this part. Which is all you want. If Anthony Mackie's deal That's right. doesn't go through. But he could totally do the part. And See, if I was Anthony's dates so, didn't work. I was hoping to do it so well. They're like, we need to get on the phone with Anthony Mackie. If Anthony's dates didn't work. work. But then we all tried to find a role for you in the you movie. Did. You Everybody guys were scrambled to find something. Gracious. It came down to like two movie. days in Puerto Rico. That you couldn't all come to. Yeah, I had a baby. Yes. I will say, though, this is, I'm just going to, because we're here and you brought it up. Yeah. This is fucking why Jay is still the biggest ball buster in the fucking world. So I'm down in Puerto Rico trying to make this movie. And, uh, and, you know, I love Jay, my friend. And he's like, uh, you know, that script's really great. Oh, thanks, Jay. Yeah, you know, it would have been great to have you do the part. Yeah, great. You got anything in this that I could do? I could show you the text. I'm really, it's true, right? And I go, well, there's nothing really. There are only like a couple of parts that are like two-day parts. And you said, get me one of those and I'll do it. Right. And then... And then, What's the ball breaking well, part? Well, ball breaking part is then you don't think that then that created a lot of work for me to figure out a part, right? So then... I go and figure out how to knock other things out of the way and do all sorts of shit to get you a small part, this two-day part. And then I I'm believe like, I was the guy. Could these days work? I could these I was dates the work? Boss. Yeah, and then in the end, you couldn't. In the end, I was like, you don't want to. And I remember going. It was one of those things like, I was like, dude, you're not going to want to fucking do this. You go, I'm telling you. I, mean, I want to do I it. I did want to do it. My dates didn't work. You didn't and have this animosity towards Anthony Mackie when his dates weren't working. Well, he's in the movie. You'll go see it in September. He'll be on the Son fucking of a bitch. screen. You. You're not going to fucking be there. But I'm <laughs> saying this. I'm fucking... I, I busted my you balls moved, here. You I'm, moved heaven and earth and to make sure like, Anthony Mackey. And literally your email back, your text to me was like, not going to work, bro. That was it. And then but I had to go I, tell you everybody. Also, you need to know I exhausted everything on my end to make those dates work. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I, didn't, I knew, I knew but the you, whole time. you framed it as this is why Jay's the biggest ball breaker going. Like you, like you make the because listener I think got, like, I got, like, like, I got you. Like, no, you, you said, how about this? And I went and I went with my wife and my son's school. And other outstanding engagements that I'd be sued if yeah. I canceled these gigs at casinos where they whack you. And I was like, you know what? That 48 hours in Puerto I'm Rico. I'm in the 100 degree heat in Puerto Rico. It's impossible but to that's even. That's not ball breaking. To, no, here's the, here's the part. First of all, the thought of a civilian, a guy I like coming down there for two days to hang out. I was like, oh, this would be great if Jay, we would have some laughs and it'll be fun. And then I did have to go through a lot of shit to get. Like everyone, because really, everyone was like, I think also, you sound like a dick in this me, conversation. No, no, no. It made me seem like an asshole because everyone was like, Jay Moore's not going to come do this two day part. And I go, No, no, he told me he's going to do it. Of course he is. If it works. Yes. And then you, and then you couldn't do Sorry it. Sorry a baby was born. Sorry I threw that in your face. You already had Sorry the Sorry my wife's vagina shot a baby out of it. You'd already had the baby. By the way, he's a delight. So you did. You already had the baby. I get all. I got all that. Yeah, but I, I do want to go back. I, I don't think you're coming up well in this argument because you go this way, Jay's the and don't look at the text. I know what happened. You framed. It. I really know at what no happened. point in that exchange was I like, "Gotcha, you've been punked." It was, "I'll do anything. I'll come down for a day. I just want to be a part of it because I really love the script of Runner Runner." And you said you're not going to want to do it. You were telling me I wouldn't want to do it, and I'm explaining to you, no, I do want to do it. Right. So there's the disconnect immediately. And then oh, I, oh, but do you then, understand that? No, but then I, then, then we were able to say, okay, here, come do the part. And then you were like, no, I can't. And that's I turned, I ended up being right, but I ended up being, but I right, ended but you up, said that's, see, we're going back to me being a dick. Hold on. Listen, okay. listen right, to what just listen. happened. Yes. What just transpired? What did? Was a story about the, the parenthetical was, Can Jay you, was kind of a fucking dick. And the biggest ball, this way, you're, and you even said, I mean, you're my friend. Like, you couched it like, don't take it the wrong way, 
but this is why you are the biggest ball breaker of all time. And and it came down to yes. me saying, I do want to be a part of this because I believe in your script and I think it's a great yeah. fun crew. And to go to Puerto Rico for a couple yeah. days would yeah. be great. And let's do it. And you said, no, you don't. And I said, no, actually I do. You move heaven and earth to find... Uh, a two-day part yes. for me. Yes. You tell me what the part is. I know the part because I know the whole script by heart. Right. And I go, okay, great. I look at my calendar of stand-up dates. And then you can't do it. And I can't do it. That's not breaking your balls or acting like a dick whatsoever. That's me going on with my life I totally... after you fucking do a donut on my front yard with Anthony Mackey's car <laughs> at the table read, you prick. By the way, so fuck there was a you. Pe- I would say this. There was a period of time where every day I would wake up in the morning and I would see just a text from you with the words Anthony Mackey on it. Yeah. Oh, is that a little ball breaky? Jay? Listeners? That was, that was ball breaky. <laughs> yeah. Like literally any text I would send you about anything how, else. Here's the other thing too though. You would How rent. ball breaky is it if you're receiving that text on a beach in Puerto Rico in charge of a major motion picture? It's not like you were destitute you, and I'm going, right, ha I'm about to kill your argument at the end of this whole thing where I go, <laughs> I got the text in front of me. Jay's the best talker in the fucking world, but I what? literally offer him the thing. And you tell me, because you've listened to the show, people, and so you know what his expressions mean. So I go, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I could swing it. You know, blah, blah, blah. Flights, you're going to do it. And then you just write, I'm on the road. Thanks, but no thanks, pal. Okay, fine. I go, no problem. And then you go, all right. I go, you go, thanks for no thanks, pal. I said, no, no, no. I'm talking about the part you asked me for. You sure you don't want to make it happen? And you go, tell me the dates. And then you go, I appreciate what you're doing. And then you go, now go get your fucking shine box. Well, that's just fun. That's not breaking your balls. That's like you and I, we just spoke in. It's the best. We speak in good fellas all the time. But, but what now get your fucking shine box means to a funny friend is. This can be totally pushed over to your side and it can be totally pushed over to my side. That's all. That's fine. From we you, both, that's a victory. We both, that's it. I've won. We both know the intent of that. Oh, yeah, we loved each other the whole time. Yeah, but the initial thing was. You, you literally, know what a I literally ball went, breaker I literally is? said, well, yeah, because the. Okay, if I said to you quick, the best moment of ball breaking in cinema history, you might go, get your fucking shine box. And this story ended with you literally saying get your fucking shine box but i don't think that's me being an asshole or anything all right on twitter at jay moore 37 and at brian koppelman uh just let us know just let us know yeah I, just I, let us know it dates that you sound like ju- and look just like seinfeld on that last let let us know. just yeah, let, let us know. know just let us know is Jay the biggest ball breaker yeah. in the world? Who the, the ball breaker? The guy begs to be in the movie, then says, I have news for you, Brian Koppelman. Get your shine box. I can't be in the movie. In fact, not only can I not be in your movie, I would like you to shine my shoes. Yeah, that's exactly right. If you get your shine box and make my shoes look like fucking mirrors. <laughs> Maybe you've been away a long time. I don't shine shoes anymore. But it is funny because when I wanted you to do the table read, Dave and I wanted you to do the table read. I did think, so I want to ask you this question. In the end, I thought to myself, I want to ask Jay to do this, and it would be a favor to me, and I would really appreciate it, because I knew it would make us look good. I knew that it would make the part look good with Ben and Justin. Oh, hold on a second. It was a favor. Twitter, if we're going back to the Twitter battle, we start this relationship with me doing you a favor. You just I, said I it. I acknowledge it. 100%. You just said it. 100. I said it at the beginning. So now I kind of owe you a favor back. You owe me a favor back. Well, it's a fa- it's a favor. That's how it goes. But here's what I was here's what I was wondering. But when you offer me like fly like I I life was going on on my end. I understand that. It wasn't like you know what I'm too big for that, bro. Like no, I got a parent teacher conference and I got an Indian casino in Chautauqua. No, I, I understand. They pay me in wampum. <laughs> I understand all of that. I'm just saying. I'm gonna work wampum into each episode I, just, as long as I'm in New York. I'm just saying. I did. You do think to yourself. I did think to myself. In the end. Is this too much? Like, you know, a lot of actors really like doing those table read things because it's fun, it's something fun about it. But I did say to myself, is it also going to be annoying for you because it's a good part. You'd be great in the part. You'd know it, and then I can't give you the part. So I did understand that that was a difficult thing, which is why I then worked really hard to find something for you to do in the movie after you asked me to be in the movie. And then <laughs> you said you couldn't and told me to shine my shoes. And I wear sneakers. It was very kind. unshinable. He looks a lot like Seinfeld right now, doesn't he? Davey man. Uh, Davey Man, our mobile recorder. We are in New York City. These are a whole stretch. Starting with, excuse me, Joe DeRosa come with a stretch. We got a big lineup in New York City for more stories. Andy Cohen from Bravo, Watch What Happens Live. Um, Damian Eccles of the uh, West Memphis Three. Mick Foley working on Otto and George. I love Mick Foley. 
I just a kid oh, just was on death guy. row for 18 years. I'm sure he's gonna love the fact that you love a guy in a leather mask. <laughs> Because he almost wore one, so he, wouldn't bite his, so he wouldn't bite his own tongue off when uh, they electrocuted him. Mick Foley, Cactus Jack. I'm sure Damian Eccles will be thrilled to know you're such a fan of Mick Foley when I yeah, ran those names I together. I love poor Mick Foley. Mick's the greatest, Poor man. Mick Foley. Oh, the kid great. was on death row for 18 years, and you're like, come on, Cactus Jack? <laughs> Remember when, they, remember when they fake electrocuted him on ECW? Yeah. Hell in the Cell? You remember, know what that man did in Hell in the Cell? <laughs> remember when Damien Eccles had to walk to the actual gas chamber? And then they said, oh, sorry, not today, kid. I mean, he actually told The Undertaker, you know, go ahead and hit me with the chair. I mean, he actually got the chair across the back. I'll let Damien Eccles know your love of Cactus Jack when we're reviewing That was, his... I think, when he was Mankind. But did you see uh, the documentary... I'm not talking about wrestling. Anymore. Behind the Mat. Yeah, we all saw it. Jake the Snake Roberts, Dick the Crack. It's but great. Mick is great in that. Mick is great. Why do you think I want to talk to him? Listen, why do you think nobody's talking to Bob Backlund? Because he's boring. Um, so I love you so much right now. Ugh. Arnold Scoland and his uh, stupid Bob Arnold Backlund Scoland. looks like Bob's big boy in a singlet. Listen. Yeah, ma'am. So you go to Puerto Rico, you do the movie. Mm-hmm. Now, here's where it comes in for me. Like, this is where an ego comes into play. And I'm well aware of the size of my ego. Okay. Is... It becomes this weird balancing act. Like, I know you went to the mat for me. You did me a favor calling me in. And all I can hope for is that Anthony Mackie's day. I'm not wishing ill on Anthony Mackie, right. but you kind of hope his did each other a favor. You did me a favor, and I was trying to do you a you favor, c- too. You kind of hope Anthony Mackie's dates, if you're me, you kind of hope Anthony Mackie's dates don't work. And then, uh, barring that, his dates work and sync up perfectly. Uh, you know, the three studio people that are there the eight producers that are there, and the two writers that you're friends with, uh, Next, when your name comes up, they just have a nice feeling and go, he would be good that's for right. something even eight years from now mm-hmm. when they move to another place. So that's what you put in the bank on my end. What made it awful for me, what made me go, ugh, was you texting me from Puerto Rico saying, I cannot tell you <coughs> how much you crushed that table read. You really nailed it. You were Zabisco. And I would text you back, well, then how come I'm not Zabisco? You would just text me back Anthony Mackie's name. That's what you kept saying. I texted did. me back. And the, but at some point, we did have yeah. the discussion oh, yeah, where did. I go, you have to understand, Brian, yes. when, you're, when you keep telling me how great I did at the table read, you're making it, it's not, I know it's a compliment, and I got it, but the more you pile on, like, sure. me and Levine that makes were just total to, sense. Me and Levine, and yeah, say it. Me and, Levine, me and Levine, again, we're just talking about how you were Zabisco at that table read. And at one point, I had to call you and say, you know, mano a mano, you're not making me feel better. You're making me feel worse because you're telling me I did the best. I was unde- undeniable. I was undeniable. I did the best possible job, but we gave it to somebody else who didn't have to read it all. Yeah, no, that's true. And I that's like, well, that's... what kind of fucking business is this? Yes. I come in, I destroy it. The writer and producers are texting me going, no one even came close. You were, you said, you were Zabisco, capital yes. W-E-R-E. Which, by the way, for the, is, you know, the greatest thing for me, the more we say the name, is, you know, that is a pro wrestling name. You changed, I'm ignoring it, you changed the name of the character to accommodate your second choice for the role. Well, no, no, he was our first choice for the role. <laughs> I he like was our that. first Whoa. choice. You for the sidestepped role. that snare. That was That's, great. Yeah, like in the no, cartoons. Please, when you were a kid, and you watch cartoons. You think an actual trap is simply a circular rope on the ground. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> you exactly try to. Right. You wait for a rabbit to walk into it and pull exactly it up by its right. feet. No, you were trying to really, but no. Listen, Anthony Mackie is fucking awesome, and cru- really nailed it. it it's true. What I felt, I, I was very um, conflicted because, like, I was, no one was a bigger supporter of Anthony Mackie being in the movie than I was. I wanted to work with that guy for years. Was there ever a moment in the movie when you thought Jay would have done that better? No. <laughs> well done. I'm sorry. There just wasn't. If you, you only were, saw his face, listeners. But you were <laughs> terrific. And uh, I was like, you're making it worse. Oh, right. the best is when you got back. And we reconnected because you were incommunicado because I guess you got behind or whatever. In the sh- and like in any movie, you're on a pirate ship and it starts taking on water. Yeah. And you got to fight off the Somalis and you got to get back out on the seas. And then I go, um, man, it would have been great if we could have made that work. And, but I went back to the Zabisco part. I wasn't talking about the croupier. The croupier, what do you call those yeah. guys? That's yeah. what it was, right? Yeah. And I go like, hey, no blowing on the dice if we don't do that here or something like that. And uh, I go, well, it really would have been great. 
It's really too bad it didn't work out. You go, you you would not have had a good time. So with that sentence, I think this is a completely dysfunctional clusterfuck. And I'm like, ooh, like dish. Go on, girl. Spill it. And you go, it was hot. And there's like fucking mosquitoes. The bugs then there's a long pause. And I go... That's why I wouldn't want to make a major know, motion picture great. with Justin Timberlake. It was great. And fucking. <laughs> it was great. Because of mosquitoes and heat. Well, when you say Puerto Rico, I think heat. That's why it's a travel destination. JJ, you would not have enjoyed yourself in Hawaii. Just hulas. Too much water. Too much water and lays everywhere. Fucking flowers with these people. But here's the thing. We can look forward now.